Time to roll over the Shitsuki and redneck repair the frame to see if I can make it drivable. The front suspension's collapsing because the body's so bad. Easy as she goes. Simple as that. Gotta love it. Gas pissing out those old rotten lines. Gotta do that too. At least someone put new brake lines on it. See, if you've got a Shitzuki, this is the problem. Behind the front wheels, you get frame rot in the unibody part of your car. Well, this one's been patched with fiberglass, so that's not a fuck of a lot of good. And it crunches up there, too. So your wheelbase spreads and becomes wide and pulls the transmission apart. Well, pulls the axle apart, you know what I mean. So if I can smash that back together, weld something between there and there, we might have half a car again. I don't know why anybody would like one of these. Well, first thing I did is stick a big pry bar in the wheel to squeeze the suspension back together. Oh, now the frame is bending but kind of back the way it used to be, is a good thing. Piece of shit. Perfect. Now just gotta weld something in there. Well my Sakzuki is so rotten that even after welding in this modded bar to hold the both sides together, now inside the fender wall near the strut, the unibody's completely let go. So I gotta weld all that. But of course it's too rotten to weld. So I've cut out a cardboard patch to give myself an example. So I can take a piece of steel off the back of a Whirlpool washing machine, put this on it, trace it out, cut it out. And there. So that piece of cardboard sort of fits in that little space just perfectly and gives me secure areas to weld to and fill in all the big gaps. Now with my torches, I just got to cut that shape out of there. That's all cut now. Just going to break it off and press it in. Done like an empty beer. Now press it into shape and squish it and hold it on with one of these. Once clamped, tack it in a few places and then pound and shape it with a hammer. Wow, now that that plate is welded in there, Ready to throw the wheel on, that's sweet. Oh, that was hard work. Thank Miguel Man thank you, Miguel Mendez, for the shirt. Says a workaholic. Every time I think of work, I need a beer. I agree. Ah. Ready to roll. Now, let's flip this bitch back over. Well, she's 
coming. Perfect. Now to make a redneck fuel system for this thing. Just gotta step off the fuel lines. Ugh. The redneck gas tank made now. Just gotta run the lines through the firewall and secure that thing someplace. Even though this car was just rolled over on that side, there's no damage, not even a broken mirror. Got lots of dehumidifier tubing to get the job done. Wires pulled up from behind the seat. Tubes ready to attach. Well, now that the redneck fuel system is all hooked up, let's see if he's going to start. Oh. Line's all complete. It's like having a bomb in the front seat if you get in an accident. Here we go. Oh, I hear her running. Oh, yeah. Simple as that. It works perfect. This thing fired up great this year. Well, if you like Suzuki, this one works perfect. I have to take it for a test drive now. All those welded up wheels, I mean suspension. Are you ready, Wolf? Let's go for a ride. Here we go. Fast enough to outrun the fastest dog. isn't straight after all that welding, but who the hell cares? Maximum overdrive! Oh, she's working real good. Brakes are rusty. got me, eh? Well, I guess it's not a bad car now if you like black lemons and Suzuki's. Nothing I like about it. Too small, too slow, too rusty. And it sure ain't swift. Imagine that, driving around with a car with a lie on the back. 